This is a giant praying mantis. It's located here in Las Vegas, Nevada, but it's not located on the Strip, the place that most people think of when they think Vegas. Today, we're venturing off the beaten path with the help of three people. Hi. 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 To three places that are single-handedly keeping Vegas weird. This is Tim Arnold. He's the director of Stuff and Things at the Pinball Hall of Fame in Las Vegas. Pinball Hall of Fame is an old auto parts store with a bunch of pinball machines we dug out of dumpsters. Uh, no, no, no. It's a uh, marvelous museum full of antique treasures that have been lovingly restored to their original condition that we actually let the public come in and play. We have games from the 30s on up to today's modern games. I've seen people walking down an aisle full of pinball machines and they'll stop dead. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I, I, the first time I kissed a girl was, I was playing that game and I can't believe it's here again. This is not something that can be digitized and sent down the pipes on the internet. This is something that only exists in the real world, and the only place to play it is here. Okay, Tim, we're sold. Who's got change for a dollar? My name's Christine Reynolds. She's the general manager at Downtown Container Park. Which is completely made of shipping containers. We wanted to reuse materials instead of just building from scratch. Container Park prides itself on helping out mom and pop type of brands. There are unusual shops like Caput Toys, which specializes in throwback toys. And there's exceptional grub to be had, too. And let's not forget about the mantis and this guy who makes her move. Our last stop in downtown Las Vegas is a totally novel literary adventure. I am Drew Cohen. My husband and I own the writer's block together, so you could say we're a pop and pop establishment. We have a lot of kooky installations and objects in the store. We have an antique letter press from 1890. We have a machine called Bear Show who will produce a haiku on demand for 25 cents. We have a mailbox that belongs to the King Pigeon and you can leave a question in an envelope and return in one week for your answer. And it all goes to support free writing classes for local students. So there you have it. Three delightfully strange places you can only find off the beaten path in Vegas. This city is a very eccentric one. You can encounter a lot of really wacko and awesome businesses if you are willing to venture out a little bit. If you want to do shopping, there's shopping. Um, the nightlife here is amazing. It really is something you can't see in your hometown, and that's the definition of why you come to Vegas. It has dancing fountains and pinball museums and all sorts of goofy stuff. So next time you're in Vegas, try Strain from the Strip.